Hello everyone and welcome to more GTA 4. If you ain't notice, I am in a very different location. Remember that um, penthouse that Roman bought? Well, this is it right here. This is the new safe house that Roman bought from his own money. This is the champagnes, stuff like that. There's the bed, the master bed, it's really cool. Um, there's the TV you can watch. So that's pretty nice. Um, as you can see, the location. Okay, so uh, we're, we're going to go to this question mark right there. We're going to see what Michelle wants. This is the lobby. There's the elevator to go to hot, like apartments, stuff like that. Wing. Hello? Hey, Nico. I hope you're good. Listen, man. You want to go get a drink? I could do with having a good time. Sure. Let's go drinking. Sure. Why not? I'll head over to your place right away. Thanks, man. I know it's a weird request, but it'll be fun. See you soon. No problem, sir. Scheiße. Sorry, lady. Why not? Let's go see Dwayne. I really love the car. So listen, everybody. I was thinking during this Let's Play. Do you guys want me to do some uh, car racing and boat racing? Uh, do some police missions? Get the birds and do some stone jobs 200% this game because I can I can do that if you want me to I know it's like 37 38 parts in but just let me know in the comments if not then I'll just do what I normally do Ew. let's go man let's do this Spend time inside. Prison? Sure, but I never did a long stretch. Strange, man. You start off worrying about all the usual shit. About some maniac trying to fuck you up the ass. About some other maniac who wants to slash your throat. About the awful food. Then that shit ceases to matter. Yeah? Yeah. You learn to cope with the environment. Make the best of it. Learn to scare people away from you. Get food smuggled in, you know. Sure. After a while, you stop hurting. That ain't the problem at all. No? No. The problem is, you realize it's all the same shit. In prison, outside, with a woman, on your own, on throat, happy, unhappy. Don't be shit. Realize life don't mean shit, man. Teach yourself to stop caring. I know about that. But it's hard, man. I don't know how to fix that shit. I don't know how to care no more. Damn. Listen to me. Oh, Dwayne. He sounds like he's been through a lot. This bar is mad crazy, man. Just like you and me. Let's get drunk. Let's do this. This place is kind of a dive for me. But we had a good time. Oh my god! Please go away. Man. Drunk as shit. Yes. Drunk, 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 drunk. Sure. This, this is bad. So fucking drunk, man. This is bad. Really? I ain't this shitting is... you, man. I ain't shitting. I can't get up the stairs. I, I can't ain't get up the stairs. I'm shitter. I'm a drinker. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna be cool. Oh, keep quiet for a while, then. <laughs> Bad. Oh no. What's happening? What's happening? I can't get up! Dwayne, get up! Okay, let's just stand still until we're sober enough to walk up the stairs. I hope people are not looking at 
Okay, yep, they are. Wait, please, stop! Stop! You're actually losing- I'm actually losing health! Please. I don't mean- I don't mean no harm. Just go away. Just go away, man. I don't want them somehow beating us up. Okay, they're walking away. Okay, I think we're sober enough. Thank goodness. What about you, Dwayne? Alright. Alright. I can't handle all these people, man. Okay, that was an interesting beginning part of the of this let's play, or part of this let's play. That was fun. Thanks for asking me. Alright, now let's go to the unknown contact. See how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. You should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. And and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. 
but about a creep's unmemory date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. Can't believe this. That's why I wanted revenge on bowling. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellique, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. Oh. And hey, welcome to America. Pascal Astara Dejava. Bushka. So we're doing we're doing some we're doing some work for them. Whatever. Oleg's apartment back at Hope Beach. I guess while we're when we're finished with this mission, we might as well do, we might as well sneak in the Jacob Psy mission, and then we'll, we'll head in here. Back at Hope Beach. They see, they see cars flow through the bridge like that from their apartment buildings. There's Coney Islands, something like that. Oh, it's Firefly Island. You get, you got what I'm trying to say. It's nothing. There's really no difference what I'm trying to say. It's really the same thing. It's really. Like. All right.
Mr. Minko? Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his email. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. Okay. Alright, I'll definitely do that. Whoa. To a release stop on Tulsa Street. All right. What the fuck you got going on, you weirdo? United Liberty Paper. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hall Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa, killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. Okay. Oh my gosh, he got ran over. And this time it was not me. Спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан.
I gotta do this whole goddamn fucking mission all over again. Is there gonna be, is there gonna be a phone call? Oh. Minkoff got away. Unacceptable. Come to see me soon. Bullshit. If that, if that didn't, if that first crash didn't happen, I would have ended this a while ago. I lost my good car, too. Skip this. It's a, it's usually the same thing. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hall Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. Tent number two. taken care of I shall go back to United Liberty paper I know I said I'm gonna do the Jacob side mission but I think what transpired might have 
<laughs> kill my mood with this. So I'm just, I'm just going to leave that off for the next part. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because Mirror TV is back. And when it does, hit it right there with your fears. It is there. This is Mirror TV signing off, folks. Good night, everybody.